IELTS Academic Writing. Lesson 3. Academic IELTS Writing 3. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The diagrams below show the changes that have taken place at West Park Secondary School since its construction in 1950. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. How to answer this task. Introduce the maps. Write what do they illustrate. Note the changes that occurred. Look attentively at the maps and note what was modified and what remained unchanged. Describe each element of the map in a separate paragraph. Tell about each element, farmland, car park, school etc., and its alteration. Give a general overview. Write in brief about the changes. Model answer. The pictures illustrate the changes, which took place at West Park Secondary School from 1950 to 2010. Firstly, significant changes to the farmland occurred, it was redesignated as a sports field in 1980 and then to a car park in 2010. There was an expansion of the car park in 2010 and the sports field reduced in size and placed between the car park and the playground. Moreover, the houses were suppressed completely to make way for a car park and science block. Furthermore, a science block was added to the school building in 1980 and the playground was reduced in size. However, the locations of the playground and school were constant. In contrast, the main road remained unchanged throughout the period. Overall we can see from the graphs that the farmland and houses were sacrificed, playground was reduced in area, and there appeared a science block, car park and sports field. IELTS agree, or disagree question sample. Let's look at an example of IELTS writing task 2. Big salary is much more important than job satisfaction. Do you agree or disagree? Provide relevant examples if necessary. This is a classic example of agree or disagree question that you may get on IELTS writing task 2. Elect which opinion and build an argument. Agree or disagree question asks you to clearly determine whether you agree or disagree with the statement. Unlike questions that ask you to what extent do you agree or disagree, this question asks you to have a definite opinion, black or white. After you've chosen your opinion, as usual think up two to three supporting points for it. For the task above you have two possible options, you agree that a big salary is more important than job satisfaction you disagree that big salary is more important than job satisfaction. Now let's generate supporting points for each of the opinions. Big salary is more important. A job is a means to an end and money is that end. Money can solve most problems. Job satisfaction is more important job satisfaction gives you a sense of fulfillment which is more important than material wealth doing what you like keeps you motivated and therefore leads to a career growth. For our essay, we'll choose the second opinion. Answer structure after you've decided whether you agree or disagree and thought out your supporting reasons, it's time to start writing your essay. There are a lot of ways to structure your essay, but we'll use a structure that has been proved by many IELTS examiners to be high scoring. Essay Structure, Introduction. Body Paragraph 1, The First Reason You Agree, or, Disagree. Body Paragraph 2, The Second Reason You Agree, or, Disagree. Conclusion. Essay Structure, Introduction. Body Paragraph 1, The First Reason You Agree, or, Disagree. Body Paragraph 2, The Second Reason You Agree, or, Disagree. Conclusion
Let's take a look at each of these sections in detail. Introduction. Write your introduction in two sentences. Sentence 1. Paraphrase the statement, you can use it is argued slash considered slash thought that to start. I have often heard that it is more advantageous to choose a job with a high wage, even if it does not interest you at all. Sentence 2. Say whether you agree or disagree with it and extend your opinion. I am in total disagreement with this statement and think that job satisfaction is much more important than a high salary. Body paragraph 1. The first reason you agree slash disagree. Sentence 1. State the first reason you agree slash disagree. This sentence should contain the main idea of the whole first paragraph. Use words firstly or first of all to introduce the first reason. In our case we'll use the reason that job satisfaction gives you a sense of fulfillment, first of all, I believe that job satisfaction gives people a sense of fulfillment that money cannot guarantee. Sentences 2 to 3, explain the reason. To explain the reason effectively, you can imagine that your examiner has no knowledge of this subject at all and you have to explain every detail. If you do not feel good about what you do and it does not interest you it is such a large part of your life that it will sooner or later affect you adversely. Conversely pursuing one's interests will always bring pleasure and a feeling of achievement. Sentence 4, Example. It's always good to give examples in your body paragraphs, even if you're not asked to do it. In our case, the task asks you to provide relevant examples. For example, a lot of people choose to do social work although it is not well paid, but because they were passionate about helping others. Body Paragraph 2, The Second Reason You Agree Slash Disagree Sentence 1, State the second reason you agree slash disagree. This statement should contain the main idea of the whole second paragraph. Use words secondly or moreover to introduce the second reason, secondly, doing what you like keeps you focused and motivated and you will fulfill your potential. Sentences 2 to 3, explain the reason, assume that your examiner doesn't understand the topic at all. In other words, there is a strong relation between job satisfaction and productivity. People who do jobs they like will not watch the clock and they will achieve better results than those who put their salary first. Sentence 4, support your idea with an example. Look at George Orwell who came from a good family and had a very good education. He gave up everything in order to fulfill his ambition of becoming a writer. Sentence 5, a short summary of your thoughts in the second paragraph. I am convinced that for these reasons, job satisfaction outweighs the inconveniences of a low salary certainly from a career point of view. Conclusion. You can write the conclusion in one sentence that summarizes your opinion plus two reasons for it, in conclusion all the trappings of wealth do not compensate for a sense of unfulfillment. I else agree slash disagree model answer. I have often heard that it is more advantageous to choose a job with high wage, even if it does not interest you at all. And the conclusion. I else agree slash disagree model answer. I have often heard that it is more advantageous to choose a job with high wage, even if it does not interest you at all. I am in total disagreement with this statement and think that job satisfaction is much more important than a high salary. First of all, I believe that job satisfaction gives people a sense of fulfillment that money cannot guarantee. If you do not feel good about what you do and it does not interest you it is such a large part of your life that it will sooner or later affect you adversely. Conversely pursuing one's interests will always bring pleasure and feeling of achievement. For example, a lot of people choose to do social work although it is not well paid, but because they were passionate about helping others. It's so important to choose the kind of work that makes you happy rather than to look only at your bank account. Secondly, doing what you like keeps you focused and motivated and you will fulfill your potential. 
In other words, there is a strong relation between job satisfaction and productivity. People who do jobs they like will not watch the clock and they will achieve better results than those who put their salary first. Look at George Orwell who came from a good family and had a very good education gave up everything in order to fulfill its ambition of becoming a writer. I am convinced that for these reasons, job satisfaction outweighs the inconveniences of a low salary certainly from a career point of view. In conclusion all the trappings of wealth do not compensate for a sense of unfulfillment.